Hello everyone, this is Irfan. How are you? Look, uh, uh, I'm working on Sunday um, because uh, uh, I have to be working sometime on Sunday, so I'm working Sunday, so that's not an excuse. But uh, look, I'm very happy today. Why? Because I found my lost glasses, my one of the favorite glasses, Raven, which I love. And it was lost somewhere in my home or some office, but I found them. On them, right? So they are they are black raven, and I'm a fan of raven from very young age when I was a schoolboy. I used to have that green color, uh, Tom Cruise style raven from a young age. I use it many many years. And still, I got some in my home. Uh, I keep my things very uh, safely. Uh, so, uh, okay, let's come to the topic. I have many questions, and one person is saying that why are you speaking in Hindi or why are you speaking in Urdu when you make some very good videos in English, but since you're making in Urdu or Hindi, I can't understand. So I just made a special uh, method reply for that pharmacist from Philippine, and I just uh, said that look, you can ask me a question, I can give you the answers. Uh, so I thought make a small video about the question that we received in last few days. Okay, uh, so the first question that I want to answer is that living cost. As an intern pharmacist in Australia, is it affordable or can we survive? Okay, the answer is that when you work as an intern pharmacist in Australia, uh, your wages are approximately 4,000 monthly or approximately 55,000 a year, which means that uh, the living cost has gone up in Australia. So your living cost would be around at least 300 to $350 per week rental property that you find in your wherever the job would be, preferably in regional Australia, uh, and that could be the main cost. Other than you would have a cost for your expenses, daily expenses, uh, but if you have a partner with you or if, if uh, as a family, if you have a partner, then if he or she is earning, then that support can make your life very smooth. But if you're a single person, then that wages is good enough uh, for meeting your expenses. But if you have a living style like luxury living style then obviously no chance no chance all right so depend on how much you want to spend but you need to bring some savings when you're coming here make sure you at least have some money that you can buy a good car suv not a sedan and uh, yeah so that's very important cars are important for your safety on the road because on the roads there could be animal or Maybe some accidents happen quite often here, uh, so that's something which you need to understand. All right. Okay. Other than that, there was a question uh, yesterday. Someone messaged me that uh, 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 someone approached me saying that I want to come to Australia. Then I normally send them a questionnaire saying that please send me your CV, please send me a video of your interaction, and tell me why you want to come to Australia, and uh, and send links. Or connect my social media educational channels connect with me and uh, message me so I can see your profile like LinkedIn profile or Facebook profile so I can give you some feedback and that way two way communication you get my information like notification every time and he, I can see you as well so people sometimes misunderstand that lot of occasion they don't know me first of all they just found somewhere where someone referred my name and they just message me Tuck. I'm a pharmacist, I'm MPhil, and I have done this, I have done so many publications, and when I send them, can you please send me this information like CV and this and that, and they find that why should I send a CV, so wow, so they become offensive, that become an offensive for them, that why are someone like an unknown person is asking for the CV, but look, you need to know me before coming to me, you need to know my work, what I'm doing, and I'm doing for free, so you need to know that before you're messaging me, so it's better you understand and then message me so that you don't get a shock when I send you the questionnaire that you need to send me this, 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 and then we can discuss further. First, I want to know you, but what is happening? A lot of unknown communication happening. A lot of people coming to me just from, from somewhere. They just saw a number. Now, Irfan is available in Australia and he get free advice, but I get free, I go and give free advice to those. I know so you need to make a connection with me first okay uh, bottom line is that they didn't supply me the information which I was looking but they put questions 
I'm asking again, can you please send me your information? They put edit the question. So I thought maybe just ignore them or just leave them what they're doing in their life or should I just tell them what they're looking so they can move on because I know that they won't move. They will stay what they are because they have a different mindset. Okay, but I'm telling you the answers right now. Someone asked me that I want to come to Australia for academic career, like for teaching pharmacy schools or a teaching or a professor or a lecturer like that. So I have, I have a very simple answer for that. First, come to Australia on a visa. The visa is available for CAPS Bay, right? Get that control. This is in your control, right? So you can do the CAPS, you get a visa, come on 491 and become permanent resident, become settled here and then go for your teaching profession that you can do. Okay, so that's a good answer for you. Uh, so I will post this in my social media and you will pick up this answer and I will send you the video as well. But keep in mind, if you want to get benefit out of me, you need to tell me who you are in a, in a video like that and don't send me voice notes because I really feel like old, 100, 100 year old passage. That's what I feel. It's a modern time. You know, we can't meet physically. We can't meet face to face at the moment, but digitally we can meet, all right? And keeping in mind that I don't have a time to even watch those videos completely. I just watch the top 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And if you are impressive, then I watch the full video. That's how the employers do these days. They ask for the video, they ask for the CV, they watch you first and then go for the CV. If you're not impressive on your video, then there's no chance in Australia for you, all right? So just keep in mind. So I'm trying to give you a habit of how to strike for your jobs in the first phase when you make a contact with me. All right. And also that social media education is very important. If you don't see me coming on TikTok, for example, today's message, then how would you know that what is happening and what you need to do? How would you know that? Some people say that I don't have a space in my phone for Twitter. Come on, Twitter don't take much space. And uh, someone say, I don't use TikTok because whatever reason is, I don't know. But if you want to meet with me, you need to meet on all five forums. So make sure you connect with me and I can see your social uh, content as well. I want to see you. I want to, I want to know about your personality. I want to know about your mindset. So if you know my mindset from those all five different channels, then obviously it will help you to progress. Okay. So think like that. All right. Don't take it as a burden, first of all. A guy yesterday sent a, a praise, first of all, on uh, Lucky's video. Uh, I'll just go back and read those questions quickly. And I think the question was that uh, he is a religious person. And he's asking that, uh, he's asking that uh, if I, if I, or if he, if he can get a time, if he comes to Australia, can he pray Zohar prayer or Asar prayer or Maghrib prayer? Okay, so the answer is, quick answer is that you would have a break. You have a lunch break where you can do whatever you want to do. You want to eat, you want to do Zohar namaz, it's up to you. Half an hour break or maybe 45 minute break depending on the company where you're working. And you would also have 10 minute breaks if you're working full time. Two breaks, 10 minutes. So you can do whatever you want to do. Either you want to have a small nap or you want to eat, you want a phone call to your girlfriend or your wife, whatever you want to do. So in that phase, you can do whatever you need to do. So nobody will stop you to do to make your prayers. All right. But also just inform your boss before before starting work that that's your feeling that you want to do and they will they will take care of that. All right. So that's just a quick answer for you. Uh, if you say that, look, I need a small sunlight in the pharmacy, answer would be no, because there won't be no space there. But you need to bring your mat, maybe in, in, in your staff room or in, in some lunch area room where you can offer your prayer, no problem. And I have pharmacists who did that many, many years, all right? Okay, so I'll just go back on the questions. Uh, the second question was, how I can start my preparation, how I can start my preparation. I would advise you to do assessment, CAPS assessment first is a priority. Get your application in, pay the fee and uh, do those things first. And uh, that's how 
uh, you will actually be serious and in that way I will feel that you have burned your boats when you burn the boats you don't have a chance to go back you need to move forward when you need to move forward you will be dead serious so I like to have those people working with me in my learning groups who are dead serious 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 all right so serious mean that you're just going ahead and you're trusting me because these are open right you are not coming to meet me you are coming to benefit you for your family for your future all right maybe i'll see you in the conference somewhere and say so you're gonna say erfan i've seen you on the video but doesn't matter uh, even if you do pass me through without knowing without saying hello i won't say anything to you but if i see you i will come to you say hello how are you how's your life going is everything get settled that's good okay um i will go for the questions one more motivational video so okay people liking the video because they are subscribers of my channel subscriber on my TikTok. that's how they're getting those information educational information look i'm not a dancer i'm not a film star and i'm not promoting any films here right i'm just promoting motivation for getting into australia through pharmacy profession okay and uh, uh, that notification on all five channels are important it actually create our environment around you to do this motivational thing to motivate you to move forward those who pass the exams they have seen these kind of uh, videos or not videos but also they were bombarded with the information from my end probably and 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 that was the key factor for their success there are a lot of people i haven't advertise anywhere i'm not doing any advertisement uh, i do share those success stories and there are so many other which haven't been uh, in, like we haven't been we haven't discussed i never come to that level where i can ask look you got a job because i give you this tip can you, can you come on the camera i haven't done that there are so many examples so many all right so many so many examples uh, but i just share a few stories recently and that is very important for you to listen to grab what they have done what inspiration they got from me that's very important for you to to know if you're really serious right if you're not serious you can leave this you leave this channel leave my group straight away no problem for me all right because you are not paying me anything and i'm not getting i'm not paying you anything but it's just a giveaway thing happening here giving back to the profession and you are from the same profession that's why i'm talking to you i don't talk to other professionals right i don't have a time i only talk to pharmacists and i only talk to cricketers international level right okay okay so let's find the question other question if someone has a question uh please support my initial profession uh, children ready when they start to walk okay there are a lot of lovely comments uh, someone saying that People need support in the initial years of profession, just like when children need to start to walk. So those who support in the period of time are truly deserving of being remembered for lifetime. So this is something someone said uh, on, my, on my comments, this lovely comment. And uh, Idris, Mr. Idris is my group in two groups and he progressed very quickly. He's now doing campus preparation and he's saying that whenever I see Irfan's video when he put a new video of interview with someone. So he see himself or myself. He's saying myself, inshallah, uh, one day I will give you an interview of my success story. So he's dreaming. He's actually visualizing that candidate like Fahim, who was doing an interview with me yesterday or day before yesterday. So he is actually visualizing him that he will be standing here in coming months and he will be doing his success story with me. So that's that's how it actually motivates others so that's the that's the precursor that he got my point and he always on my webinar sitting there for two three hours just listening very carefully and that actually pumped pumped him he actually break all the barriers first of all he break all the mental barrier he's a fearless guy so why he become fearless because he come to my lectures and now he's following me on these educational channels all right okay and uh, 
Okay, someone called Ansar Latif. He's saying that uh, how many months I will take finish? How many take? How many months we will take to finish the intern? Twelve months maximum. Okay, you have eighteen hundred and fifty hours that you need to complete. But in COVID, I think there's a relaxation of thirty percent. So you need to do fifteen hundred and twenty-five hours. Get a precipitous sign. Get those ITP program homework done, workshop done, pass the CAPS 2 exam, VIVA, oral exam, and get your registration, and you can do it in 10 months if you are very smart, right? I have some pharmacists working with me who will complete or who has completed their internship in 10 months, all right? So that's possible. Yep, recent example, a female pharmacist from Zimbabwe she came in February and she became pharmacist in December. So straight away, 10 months job and she finished the 12 month job in 10 months. Thanks to me. Okay. Uh, okay, a guy again saying that, do we get paid? Yes, you get paid as an intern. You won't work for free. You're coming here, you will get paid $24, which is an award rate, award rate. Award is a, set criteria of wages in Australia. By Australian government, every profession have an award, like every profession have a set criteria of wages, minimum wages, level one, level two, level three, level four. All right, so don't think that if somebody got a work visa, for example, a lot of misconception that uh, if I got a contract for an employer, on job visa, I will be paid less. No, you will be paid. You will be paid the standard rate, and every six months in your training, you get the second slot. Your raise will happen. Okay, so there are a lot of misconception by some negative people that if you go to an employer and contract for three years or four years, that means that you stuck with them, and you get low wages. No, you get a standard wages, right? which is given by the Pharmacy Guild Award Rate. Award Rate is a, award rate is a big uh, area where all the profession like doctors or, or lawyers or accountants, every industry got their awards rates. So Pharmacy Guild, Pharmacy Industry Award. So all the contract, all the job offers who which actually written in Australia for any employee, they are written based on award rate, okay? So nobody can go to bypass that. If you can find this is Australia, this is not Dubai. All right. So no confusion now because I have answered these questions many times in recent past that I've been signed up for your contract and I will stuck on $35 an hour when I'll become a pharmacist. No, no, not like that. Okay. Okay, Namaz, I have already answered the question uh, to Mr. Hassan. Because, uh, sir, I don't left my namaz. Yes, nobody left the namaz. Nobody will stop you. Breaks are there. You can use your time in the breaks. Okay. Okay, so that is done. Success stories. Okay, so that's something which... I covered most of the questions which came to me in recent times. And uh, okay, so that's that's the question part. And uh, if you have more questions, go on my YouTube channel and put questions on the videos. I will read them and I will reply like this. I can't type the answers, but I can make a video which is easier for me and it's more interactive as well. Okay. Uh, so today is uh, 20 minutes and tomorrow I'm going to do a webinar for University of Peshawar uh, uh, final year and passing out French graduates. So if you're from Peshawar, we'll be delighted to see some of your colleagues sitting with me tomorrow and it will be live on Facebook, on, sorry, or not on Facebook, on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Tomorrow, Pakistan time, I think it's 4 p.m. My time is 9, 9.30, uh, Adelaide time. All right, so that's something which I thought I'd just... Uh, say uh, and come on camera um, someone asked me a question day before yesterday about the uh, 
wildlife or animals or snakes look snakes are everywhere in australia but you live in a house you live work in a uh, in a very high quality building where snakes can't get in but if you're walking in a bush area if you're walking in a jungle then obviously snakes will come and if you haven't if you're walking like just in a in a sandal open open shoes then obviously that's difficult but you need to wear appropriate dress appropriate shoes to avoid those things happen okay but keeping in mind these things can happen anywhere in the world right but keeping in mind if someone is coming from pakistan from karachi they are mobile phone snatchers who always have a gun which is more dangerous than a snake so just don't compare things like that and when you're thinking uh, to come to australia bad things are everywhere right but there's a way to survive there's a way to modify things look for the better side okay take care and it's a 20 minute video i think i spoke well if you like my way uh, and if you like my glasses black raven is the original one because uh, in in gold coast two weeks ago i was wearing my worst sashi or some some, some sort of um, glasses in the 80 um, there was a team of that party was dressed up like 80s like fancy colors so i was wearing that glasses and somebody said air fine is this a real glass i said come on Yes, it's a real glass. A real, real one. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.